Everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello! Welcome to Misadventures, an RPG set in the Harry Potter universe with awesome ladies and good times. Yay! 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 Wizardry! Oh, wizardry. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's important. We are oh, so yes. glad to have you. I am Talene Guerra. I am your DM for this evening, slash evil genius. Yeah, yeah. Just eat, okay, oh, yeah. Evil. Mm -hmm. I mean, they'll all agree to evil. I'll <laughs> take it. It's the one I wanted more, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> and who is with me today? Let's start over here. Oh my God! Hi, everybody. My name is Terry Gamble, and I am playing Terabella Zonks, a very old wizard who's old friends with Albus Dumbledore, and has gotten along on many adventures and shenanigans. Let's be honest. She likes to party. All the time, she does. Mm -hmm. She likes. She, she likes to raise the roof. Raise the roof. So many rooms. Raise the roof. So many rooms will be raised. We are so happy to have you here. Yeah. Tara Bellazonks. Yeah. Thank you. And next to you is. Hey, I'm Mac Beauvais. I am playing Jaina Quickby, who is from a very prestigious pure blood line, the Quickbies. Hopefully you could have figured that out without my help, but you know, just in case. Um, and she's a bit of a prankster. She's been out traveling the, the wizarding world and the human world to get some more um, just worldly knowledge and uh, kind of got bitten by a werewolf once, but she doesn't really like to talk about it. Ooh. You know, maybe Ooh. with her therapist. Mm. Maybe to get some closure Mayhaps. inside. Yeah, well, wizards don't take very kindly to no! werewolves, so... Wizards need mental health, professional help! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everyone does! There's no shame in it! <laughs> hey! Hey! Is it me? It's okay. you! It's me! Hi, my name is Megan Keynes, and I am playing Morgana Hellstrom, who is a retired Auror under sort of mysterious circumstances. But now she owns a muffin bakery called McStuffins Muffins, which has a website Bear with me, because the web address is kind of a lot, but it is uh, Megan Cave, so that's my name, M-E-G-H-A-N-C-A-V-E-S, dot com, backslash Wix, W-I-X, backslash McStuffins Muffins. Um, check it out if you want to. There's some fun things on there. And we have even some muffins tonight. So they're so good. They are the battle muffins, but they're the muggle form, so they're not actually going to fight us tonight. That's terrible. Yeah, well, it happens. You know, I figured that might be better. I'm ruining my life. Every so I wanted muffins. magic. Inferior. Well, we have magic, but just not in these muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Blythe. I'm playing Amelia or Leah Breckenridge, who works in the Department of Mysteries, and she's kind of been just working her butt off since the last adventure. She lives a lot less fun of a life than these folks here. <laughs> yeah, if you want to yeah. catch up with what everyone's been doing since our last adventure of the characters, I mean, not the pe not the players, the players. We don't live that interesting life. We just wait for misadventures to come back. We don't do anything. Pretty yeah. much. Yep. Literally just I just actually yeah. deactivate my programming until they bring me <laughs> back online. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, that's how that works. <laughs> but if you want to know what the characters have been doing, they have, we put uh, their diaries up online. You can check that out. But not right now, because right now, things are about to get real. Uh-oh. <gasps> things are about to get real evil. Gasp and shock. Bum, bum, yeah. bum, bum, bum. Uh, the first important thing that is going to happen is uh, I have here in my hand a secret for each of you. Oh. oh. This is a secret you have to keep. Oh. oh. But you must uh, also pursue it. Wow. For whatever. Uh, so that is <laughs> for each of you a secret. Pass out the wrong secret. I know, I'm being very <laughs> careful. That would ruin everything. I think that happened once. That, I yeah, sent no. the wrong message to people. All right, everyone, examine your secret, memorize it, mm -hmm. accept it into your soul. Welcome to Diagon Alley. What? Look at oh that. My gosh. It's so oh my gosh. You can, actually, before we get started, let's talk about uh, real quick that you guys can influence the game. Um, so, Amongst other things, you are all wizards. You are the Ministry of Bean Pushers, was the last <laughs> name yeah. that you guys had. You are all wizards able to cast spells in this world. You can cast health, and you can has cast rerolls. And because this is a mystery that these guys are going to try and solve, you can cast 
uh, to reveal clues. It's not going to be an immediate thing, <laughs> but uh, you, can, you can also cast uh, for this for this version of the game, you can cast a Revealio spell. The Revealio spell for this game will be that the players will receive one token, which means that they will be able to uh, reveal the truth or falsehood of one statement of either an NPC or a player at the table. Oh, wow. Ooh. All right. That's cool. Ooh, that's uh -oh. very cool. They are also some character-specific rewards that I have set up for these guys, unbeknownst to them. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if that's good or bad. Yep. But it's a thing that exists, <laughs> right? I guess it is. <laughs> yes. scared, right? Um, I'm going to let Dom talk to, talk to you about Jaina's and Morgana's in chat, because these guys don't know and don't get to know. What? All right. But All right. Terra okay. Bella Zonx. For Terra Bella Zonx, you can cast I happen to have, <laughs> which means and uh, that whatever piece of muggle technology you want Tara Belazonx to have, she'll happen to have it. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bag. Yes. She's got a giant mm -hmm. bag of holding. Yes. And uh, she'll just happen to have that thing in there, and she'll pull it out and use it. Fantastic. You I can't can... wait to see what's in the bag. Yeah. So <laughs> if, you're going to, if you're going to do that, be sure to tell us what she has. And uh, Amelia has two there are two things you can do for Amelia. You can cast Oh, I had a, such a clever name for the the one. Don't you have any? Nope, the other one. Oh, crystal balls. Crystal balls. <laughs> 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 it wasn't that clever. But I like it. <laughs> she said balls though. <laughs> That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. If you cast crystal balls on Amelia, she will have a premonition of something that is true. If you cast Deja Oops on Amelia, she'll, she will have a premonition of something that is not true. Oh. I'm not going to tell her or anyone at the table which one you cast. I'm just going to oh, tell yeah. them the premonition and who gave it to her. So, please help me. Great. What, uh, let's see what <laughs> they do with that. Let's see what they do with that. That could go many ways. Right? That's yes. what I, I want it to. Uh, I want it to go many ways. Now. Deja. Oops. <laughs> uh, guys, I was really killing myself with the name. <laughs> <laughs> I Home believe alone. getting so funny. I believe that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Home alone in my apartment with my dog, being like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing, dog? And then she looks at me like I'm crazy, mm -hmm. which is her normal look. Mm -hmm. um, That's what dogs are for. To, to let you know you're crazy. Mm -hmm. yep. Here we are in Diagon Alley. You see that the streets are filled with people because this is not just any day in Diagon Alley. This is a special day. Oh. This is the first day of the annual celebration of pranks. Ooh. This is a special holiday called Chicken Bear Day. Yes! 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 Hey, Chicken uh, Bear Day! It is. <laughs> it is a day where wizards gather from all over to celebrate the accomplishments of Benedict Chicken Bear. <laughs> The man who invented the chicken bear. <laughs> he was a hapless wizard. <laughs> the chicken bear was his greatest accomplishment. Mostly things just blew up in his face. So there are two parts to this celebration. The obvious one of pranks. Pranks being cast on other people pranks. And then the other part is a illegal underground wizarding creature competition where Ooh. evil wizards or not so legal wizards bring their creations together to see who made the most interesting thing this year. Mm. But that's, that's on the down low and you have to have an invite to that party. Wow. <laughs> Everybody gets to come and enjoy the pranking and of Chicken Bear Day. Chicken mm. Bear Day, although it is called Chicken Bear Day, lasts for a week. Whoa. It's part of the whole thing. If you're gonna call something a day and then make it last a week, that's a prank. Uh, <laughs> uh, the chicken baroning. <laughs> the chicken baroning. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh, oh no. So that's what's happening mm -hmm. here in the square in Diagon Alley. Selden, <laughs> did you spell it that way for me? Yes. Thank you. Selden Arceus <laughs> gives Megan cast one hit point on Megan, which obviously Yay! is an over, overage to hang on for later. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you, Selden. 
and he says specifically that a uh, southern accent, whoosh is cap. Whoosh is cap. All right. Whoosh mm -hmm. is cap. That the wrong southern accent? Let's go with whoosh is cap. Right? No? <laughs> <laughs> either one, I think. <laughs> say. Either, either. Thank you. <laughs> and also, oh, Space know. Colonizer gives me two re-rolls because he wants to help me kill them. Space oh. Colonizer, you oh. stop it. And stop one it. for each player. Oh. Okay, oh. Space oh. Colonizer is the hero oh. now. Yay. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hang on to those. You yeah, know, no, I will. I yep. believe it. This is what's going outside, going on outside in Diagon Alley. Here, in McStuffin's Muffins, however, something different is happening. Mm. Morgana Hellstrom has woken up a little later than normal today. Thank you for putting her over oh, yeah. there. She sleeps on the street, You see I guess. that this is McStuffin's <laughs> Muffins, because it says so right there. It does. It says McStuffin's Muffins. It's there. Go mm -hmm. Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> Morgana Hellstrom has an apartment above McStuffin's muffins, though she stays in a time to time. So she's woken up in this apartment. She's not feeling too great. Maybe had a little too much to drink last night. Mm -hmm. She goes down the back stairs of her apartment over to the, the door into the back entrance into McStuffin's muffins, but she hesitates. She looks at the door and she doesn't know why, but it seems like that door's been tampered. She's on high alert anyhow. So she pulls out her wand. She circles around <laughs> to the front of the store and opens the door. Inside the front where the display is and the muffins are, everything seems quiet. She circles around the countertop and goes into the doorway into the back where the baking happens. As she walks in, the air is filled with fine particles of flour, like a cloud. And she steps forward into it, and as she comes into the middle of the kitchen, she sees on the, laying on the ground a man that she's never seen before. She hurries over, checks his pulse, but he's dead. <laughs> What do you do, Morgana? So, this is, I mean, no one else is here, right? It's just me? It is just you. That's totally a health violation. That yeah. Health violation, <laughs> isn't it? Um, I think I'm going to try and levy corpus and get him out of my shop, out the back door. Are you? <laughs> oh, this is an interesting <laughs> turn of events. That help him. Not try to just, nope, get to the dumpster. <laughs> I might try and figure out who he is first, though. Okay. At least in the process, but I don't want him in my shop. You don't want him in no. your shop. I want to figure out who he is, but I don't want him in my shop. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> you cast Levicorpus. Mm -hmm. Levicorpus. He rises up. The flower leaves a shape around where his body was. Oh. And what, you just float him out the back door. <laughs> I kick the flower around. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is playing right into my hands. Oh, well. <laughs> you are evil. Yeah. As we, okay. as we discovered. Um, but yes, as, as I do that, can I sort of like check pockets? See if you he can has check some sort his of pockets. ID. Here are what is in his pockets. Oh. He has money, Ooh. an old muffin wrapper, a newspaper clipping about Morgana, uh, sand in a vial, and a matchbook from the Leaky Cauldron. Uh oh, girl. What is the clipping? Anything specific? Is it an, like an old one, I assume? It's an old one from when you did something heroic and people wanted to praise you. Mm. There's so many of those, I mean. <laughs> Uh, so was this guy a super fan or something? And he like went there to go like, like if I can't have her, I die in the shop. <laughs> or was it the Imperious Curse from that one lady who's after you, who I can never remember the name of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and was he on a quest to come kill you? Mm, well, or was it just to send a message? Oh. 
Okay. Whatever, you guys can wonder that. I'm celebrating Chicken Bear Day. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's no kind of info on who he is. Nope. Can I... Hmm. Divination is my worst subject. Um, Sorry we're not there to help you right now. Yeah, right? Sorry. We're out celebrating Chicken Bear Day. <laughs> well, I'm probably there for work. Guaranteed. Like buying things and people are trying to prank me. And I'm, I'm definitely like, finding my way into that, that illegal underground thing somehow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. I'm surprised you didn't have an invitation. Oh, one of my grandchildren I, might have brought me there. I was trying to see if there was a spell. <laughs> let's see. Divination. Divination. To see if I can essentially see into the past to see what's here. But I don't know if there's one. You guys know of any that's like that? Oh, to see um, into the past? Mm -hmm. uh, There's not a spell for it. Not really. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just I just want to put him in the alley or just in a different space. I just don't want him so obviously in the shop. Okay. You put him out in the alley. You lay mm -hmm. him down. Mm -hmm. He's laid out in the alley now. Mm -hmm. Can I cast Revealio on him and see if I can, I don't know, get any magic? I don't know. Just see if I can find anything. What are you looking for? Well, maybe like what <coughs> killed him. If it was magical. It was magical. Hmm. Does he have a one? Smiley the Ogre, aka uh -oh. Stephen Pope, mm -hmm. gives Mac one reroll. Oh, thank you. Does he have a wand on him? No, he does not. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. So I'm gonna let you think about what you're doing. Okay. We're gonna find out where okay. everyone else is right now. Alright, sounds good. Um, Bly. Hi. Uh, where are you? I am at a shop. I'm at one of the shops. Oh yeah? Why are you there? I'm going to pick up some books from Flourish and Blots. <laughs> Bots. Because, or Blots. Bots? Blots? Blots. Blots. <laughs> I was like, am I getting this right? Um, I'm going to pick up some books. Okay. See if I can find some things for work. You're looking down the, the stacks of the books and suddenly your eyes roll back into your head and you see something. Uh, oh. This is also from Smiley the Ogre. Oh, you put deja oops on me, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you see, to be seen. Um, you see, uh, you're in a store. It's not the store you're in. There are uh, oh, a, there's a place in the wall that opens and then closes without a door. Is there anything else I see in the store? It's that mostly like pretty fuzzy, but you see um, cauldrons. And then your eyes come back and like somebody's there going, are you going to buy that book, lady? Are you going to buy that book? Because if you're not, let someone else buy it. Mm -hmm. Totally a tourist from America who wants to buy that <laughs> book. <laughs> uh, just to spite you, I think I will. Fine, whatever. I'll buy another book. This place is full of books. I want a damn book. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's like a sports book. She has no interest in it, but now she wants to buy it because now she has to buy she's it. She's pissed off at that guy. <laughs> Where are you at, Jaina? Oh, I am just out enjoying the merriment. Because normally I'm the one pranking and I just get to sit and observe all of this going on. Oh, sure. This is definitely a Jaina holiday. Oh, yeah. Cool. Just wandering around. There's, I'm sure people with, like, engorged teeth and, like, fat bogey oh, texts yeah. and all of that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Like, as you watch the crowd, like, there's, like, one person walking through who clearly didn't remember the holiday and is, like, really flustered and everyone's pranking him. <laughs> like as he goes by, so it's just like it's just like one thing after another. Like totally. he sprouts wings, and then like his nose gets really big, and then uh, you know his fingers turn into tentacles, and he's just like, oh, "I gotta get to work." Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just laughing at that. Your favorite. He's, your, he's everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite. Because uh, best one to prank is the one who doesn't want to be pranked. What are you doing, Tara? Oh, my grandchild, Bella Terra, snuck me into, well, didn't have to really sneak me. I had an in, I guess, with her to one of the, to the creature fight. And we are watching and observing some of the craziest looking creatures we have ever seen. You're in one of the underground creature fights? <laughs> crazier than, yeah, wow. crazier <laughs> than, <laughs> crazier 
wiser than Chicken Bear in honor of Chicken Bear. Oh. Wow. What is, what, is, what are you watching I know, right now? <laughs> I was just thinking, there is. Because you, you sold it as crazier yeah. than Chicken Bear. Crazier than Chicken Bear. Well, there's a, a dolphin that is part dolphin. And it's, well, it's above ground, see, because it's part mammal, see, so it's part dolphin, and the other half is snake. <laughs> what a terrible... <laughs> it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen, and I'm not quite sure how it's even functioning. Well, that sounds wondering. It's losing this fight. I think it might. Wait, but what's it fighting against? It is fighting against a giant squid that has been mixed with, get this, Mixed with a squirrel. <laughs> I what? don't know how it's possible. <laughs> wait, wait. Just has a bunch of fluffy tails. Yeah, yeah, I was totally picturing that too. It's like a squid body with tails, squirrel yeah. tails instead of tentacles. Uh huh. Pretty much. Good. That's a terrible Good. fight. Squirrel yeah. squid? Like, yeah. yeah. Squid squirrel? Like, what do you call it? Squirrel it. Squirrel it. Squirrel it. Squirrel it. And they fight me, like, the fluffy tails are like flapping at the snake. And no the snake one is like, no one's actually winning right now. It's a little odd to judge this one. I uh, believe that. Yeah. But we'll see too. which one survives the day. They're not going to survive. My on the squillin. Really? Yeah. I'm betting they both died just of not <laughs> being right, right for the world. <laughs> not having to play They're style. very improbable creatures. Yes. So you... you Beyond got, Fantastic Beasts. You got into one of the underground oh well beast fights i am hiding i did wear a disguise i feel like i'm blending in <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so that's where everybody is well god is in the alley with a dead body it's a good time to uh, have a dead body in an alley i guess prank day i mean sure um i want to so this is this guy looks familiar. Does not look familiar to me does at all. Does not look familiar to you at all. Um, I feel like I've got a few sources. Maybe one I've talked to recently that okay. I want to reach out to. Reach out. Um, yeah. So I'll probably just get in contact with this person and say, so um, there there was a dead body. I'm on my way. All right. Good. Like I'll wait for you, I guess. Two minutes later. Two R's show up. Mm -hmm. Jack Duke is a dashing, more like hero, hero aura, uh, real go getter. Uh, kind of got that like handsome, but in a British way, where it's not really handsome. <laughs> just sort of like, handsome, but handsome enough. But British. handsome for a British yes. guy. Yeah, just <laughs> pretty mildly handsome. attractive. You're mildly attractive, but a really good actor. Yeah. Yeah. Does, does Shakespeare and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I know who, exactly who you're describing right now. Yeah. yeah, I can. Right, Jack Duke. Uh, he has with him Eloise Poppinjay. She's a, a younger agent. N she's new to the force. Um, Jack's showing her around right now. Uh, she takes us, she sort of follows him, takes a, stays always pretty much a step behind him. Jack. Jack Duke, though, he comes up and he's like, well, I'm a handsome, I'm British handsome. Comes up and he goes, Morgana. Jack. Good to see you again. It's good to see you. I wish it was under better circumstances than this right now, but. Well, we miss you. We, we miss you. There's no one else there as good as me. Well. I liked having you around for the competition. Right, I was better than you, though. No, well, we were very, we were very neck and neck. <laughs> you say so. We were neck and neck, but I was man, so I always came out ahead. Right. Uh, you know how that goes. Uh, yes, so... Um, I was also louder than you and interrupted you a lot. Yeah, well, you are a man. I'm interrupting so you now. You've got that going. So that you remember I'm a man. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> it's really good to see you again. Um, I'm very handsome for a British guy. <laughs> uh-huh, which you say <laughs> all the time, so we them. all know that. <laughs> wait, wait, is he handsome? I mean, well, you know, he's a British right. guy. He's British. Oh, ah, all, right. all right, all right. All right, so... Oh, my God, a body. <laughs> well, yeah, you I weren't kidding. I thought for a moment you were kidding because it's chicken bear day. But I, and I took, like, 30 seconds to be like, I bet she's kidding. He's turned into Eloise at the time. I bet she was... Didn't I tell, didn't I tell you? I was like, maybe she's kidding because it's chicken bear day. And I was like, nah, better check it out. Uh, Morgana's never <laughs> been known for a sense of humor. Not like me. I've got a British sense of humor. 
Body weight. <laughs> British handsome. Your ego precedes you, Jack. Um, can you help me here? I don't know what to do. I don't right. know where this guy came from. Why this looks like a good training, uh, <laughs> training for you, Eloise. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate the chance to be trained. Good, good. This is what I like in a woman. Someone who's real cooperative. Okay. Hex him. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get him down to that fight, and that squirrelhead is gonna get to him. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I might okay. Need to open this. Well, it's whiskey. <laughs> this definitely looks like murder. Where'd you find the body? In the shop. And you moved it. Yeah, I did. I didn't want it in the shop in case anyone came in. All right. Well, let's let's go look. All right. Bing. So he follows you in. Mm -hmm. So how many people have been here today? Well, I just got up not too long ago, so hopefully not many. Um, I'm the only one here today. Um, but the shop wasn't, the, the door wasn't locked, so it's possible someone came in. I hope not. Well, I only see one set of footprints, and let me look at, uh, they're yours. They're mine, yes. Someone seems to have, like, tried to hide the place where the body was. Yes, if someone comes in, I don't want this, this body line on the ground in flour. Right, lock your door. okay. Was there anything in his pockets? Yeah, he had a couple of things. He had a little bit of money. He had a muffin wrapper, a uh, newspaper clipping of m me. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't believe that for a second. Oh, humble brag. <laughs> Eloise, she's always always humble brags. Oh, is she? I totally believe you. That's right. Wow. All right. Uh. And sand in a vial. Huh. But I didn't find, I didn't have a chance to try and see what that is yet. Right. Well, uh... Give me that stuff. I'll take this body. We'll look over the crime scene. We'll investigate it. Don't you worry about a thing. Well, I can help you with that. No, it's all right. You're not official aura. This is official aura business. I <laughs> suppose, but it's also my business. And it's I mean, this business of making muffins is definitely your business, right? It is. So that's good. You do that. And let I the do. auras do the aura work. But listen, no one needs to know about it. You keep this between us. And her. She'll do what I say. I know. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I totally will do what he says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I'll keep you informed in the investigation. <laughs> Morgana, don't worry about a thing. You're worrying Aura. And the Auras keep it. Watch each other as Aura's backs. Whoop. That's a weird way of saying that. <laughs> Let me try again. Because I'm British handsome, I get a second chance. Maybe less. <laughs> <laughs> Once an aura, always an aura, we got your back. Right. You're part of the Brotherhood. We commit crimes and cover them. Nope, that's, a, that's another police force, not really, us. You <laughs> should probably stop talking at this point, Jack. I'm covering this, don't worry about it. No, you're really not. I'll make sure everything's okay. All right. I'll keep you informed. You already had to dispose of one body, what's one more? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, Jack and Eloise do a quick pass over the kitchen and they take the body and the stuff from the, from the pockets and they poof away. Off to investigate this murder. Well, I'm going to write down everything that happened there. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then uh, I'm going to get the shop prepared to open. Okay. Shop opens. Yep. Chicken Bear Day is proceeding. The way yeah. Chicken Bear Day tends to do. <sighs> well, my people. <laughs> well, that was quite a fight. I think we should go get something to eat now, dear. I'm going to go to Morgana's shop, I think, next, and see what's happening and say hello. Okay. With my little grandchild. Or well, maybe not. Enjoy the rest of the next fight. I don't think I can stomach another. <laughs> that squidural. Squidural. Ugh. Too much. All right. It was horrifying. I love the horrifying things. That's her granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bella, you be safe today, all right? Yes, Grandma, I will. Okay, see you soon. I love that you leave children at illegal fights she's underground. Not she's not a she's child. Like, she's like 17. She just does that like high-pitched kid way of talking. I am a child, not child. I mean, it's really a great she's grandchild. Like, she's like 45, right? <laughs> Probably, <laughs> right? That's actually, she's a really immature 45. <laughs> so 17 is of age in the wizarding world? Nah. Yes, well. Well, you know. The there's a lot people. of things you can count as technicalities that are not necessarily great. <laughs> oh. 
Awesome. Yes. So what, okay. Minutes happen. Yes. Did you know that time was constantly moving forward? I did. What? what? So, I know. So Tara Bella Zonx walks into McStuffin's Muffins, and she sees Morgana there working, selling muffins to a couple other patrons uh, with various pranks played upon them. One has a circle of birds around his head that won't go away. Uh, Just Twitter, 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 Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> uh, another. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Another, her knees have like just blown up to the size of balloons. So that she, one's mine. Oh, good one. Oh, that looks so uncomfortable. It'll wear off, but it doesn't feel good while it's <laughs> happening. Gross. So, <laughs> <laughs> there you are, working in your muffin shop, and in comes Tara Belazonx, the wizard that you helped save so Hogwarts with. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Tara Bella Zonks, it's so wonderful to see you. What are you doing here? Oh, I just came for a nibble. I was visiting here with my gran, and I just wanted to come and say hello. Well, hello. Come back here. Oh, you yes. You don't need to buy a muffin. Which one would you like? Oh, dear. Oh, they all do look delicious. That one looks like it's up for a fight, though. Battle? Oh, yes. yes. Yes, this one will fight you. Oh. Oh, there is the muggle one if you prefer not to fight it. Maybe. I do love muggle things, you do. You, you know? do. I that's do. right. Yes. yes. I have a whole collection of things. Oh, good. Well, what have you been up to? Oh, well, I was on holiday um, <laughs> visiting some of my cousins oh. down in the Caribbean. Oh, is that the outfit? Oh, yes, darling. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's lovely. Yes, yes. We were learning some new songs and some singing some old ones too. I feel like Tara has some ideas for muffins. Yeah. <laughs> I so too. There's some special. Did you get my post? I sent an owl with some herbs for you. Oh, did you? You can add those into some muffins if you'd like. Oh, I'll have to try that. And it makes people feel all right. Oh, good. Yes, all right. Yes. <laughs> Oh, all right, yes. yes. I didn't know what to do with him quite yet, but now I know. Oh, yes. I've got new muffin <coughs> ideas in my head Absolutely. Here. They're talking about pot muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag legalize muffins. Guys, legalize, <laughs> it. legalize it. <laughs> this is, legalize this is a family now. show. <laughs> hey, it's legal now here. That's why, we, that's why things are unstated until I state them. <laughs> so after a little bit of uh, small talk, though, like, <sighs> Tara's got no reason to stay here, and there's other mystical beast fights to attend. Well, thanks for, for stopping really? by. Really? <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Oh, Bye, Tara. Tara's is leaving. Is everything all right, dear? I just want to make sure. You seem a little distracted. I mean, things have been a bit weird lately, but, I mean, for the most part, it's all right. I mean, you know, uh, after everything that happened at Hogwarts, it was... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying. I, I just hope everything's oh, okay now. Oh. You know, you, would, you can always ask me for help if you need anything. Yes, I think I will if, if, if something comes up. I don't know. We'll see. There might be something in the near future, but right now I'm just waiting. I am quite resourceful. And in the pit of my stomach, I am sensing that something is not right today. Mm -hmm. You would tell me, wouldn't you, Morgana? I would. I just don't have much to tell yet. When I do, I'll let you know. All right, well, I won't be far away. All right. Just go hopping on over to Flourish and Bots. There's a, lots, there's a couple of books I need to get. Oh, OK. I'll see you soon, dear. Have a nice time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I imagine the bookshop now has like made the L even bigger so that everyone <laughs> stops, stops calling <laughs> it bots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, they're so tired I'm of so the bots. Sorry, it's like flashing red. Not on the page. I think I've called on it the page. bots my entire life. Well, as part of one of the pranks someone did was to remove the L. Oh, it's like Bertie so Bots So everyone's feeds. like, bots, bots, bots. And the people inside are like, no. <laughs> You're going to go to the bookstore, huh? Sure, why not? All righty, you go to the bookstore. So we can't tell if we're doing what Tilly wants or what she doesn't want. No, it's all right. <laughs> it's I'm all starting great. to like. <laughs> Amelia's not starting to leave the bookstore. You're starting to leave the bookstore. Yep. Are you going to run into Tara or are you going to run into Jack Duke, British oh, handsome no. <laughs> Aura, and his uh, sidekick <laughs> Eloise Popinjay? He's everywhere, isn't he? He doesn't know you. No. He's too Britishly handsome to give you a second ch second glance, because you know once you're British handsome. <laughs> You know. However, Eloise Poppinjay is someone you know. Oh, you knew her from school. You were roommates in school. You had special experiences together in school. Oh, school <laughs> experiences. Uh, you 
Experimented. Just like back in college. <laughs> <laughs> Experimented on things together. You're very close. Eloise. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, hello. Oh. Um, uh, how are you doing? I'm just, I, I'm so well. She's blushing like crazy. I'm so, I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm an aura now. I'm, you, I'm, you, you joined the auras? I did. I did. I was inspired by your mother. I, I knew you thought about it. I didn't know. What's going on here? Why are you guys exchanging glances? They look meaningful. <laughs> I'm British handsome. <laughs> I want I say <laughs> involved in all meaningful glances. I, I just, we were friends from school. Oh, sounds uninteresting. I'm moving on. Uh, is that who you work for? Oh, he's training me. He's teaching me how to do things. I do everything he says. Everything? Uh, well, not the things we did. Oh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm saying, I didn't think you... Okay. No, no, no. Um, it's so good to see you. Yes, yes, I just was getting back. I have to get back to the ministry. Right. But what, I work in the Department of Mysteries now. Well, I'm an aura. Call uh, up the auras anytime. Yes, I... Anytime I'm you want there to see me. Frequently, actually. Do you? Yeah. I have a lovely cubicle in the very far corner where it's very dark and no one can see me. Mm. Sounds perfect. I'm going to move up one day to a corridor next to a hallway where people walk past on their way to the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> goals. Oh my God. Such lofty <laughs> aspirations. <laughs> sounds, sounds incredible. I, I hope you enjoy it, really. Right. Really. I got to go now. Yes. She runs off after Jack. Oh, Leah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Her face is beet red. By yeah. The way. <laughs> Are you all right? You look uh, flushed. I just ran into an old friend of mine. Um, it's been a while. Oh, right. I just ran into an old friend of ours. Well, gone. I stopped at the shop. Oh, we have mixed stuff and muffins around here, isn't it? Yes. Delicious treats. One of them always took, the almost took me out, though. Did you Did you take the battle one? Yes. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to go visit her. I, I should probably stop by and say hi before I go back to work. I think you should. I think something's going on, but she's not saying what is happening. After the events at Hogwarts, she definitely kind of couldn't get out faster than she just got away very quickly. Right. Yeah, just heads up. Yeah, would you, you dare maybe and stop yeah. by and see her? Yeah, I oh. can go say hi. I start walking up towards them and s notice that they're there and go and turn around and start walking the other way like yeah, trying yeah, yeah. not to mm -hmm. be noticed definitely <laughs> Jaina <laughs> it's so lovely to see you Tarabella you. Uh, what are you doing here right now at this particular moment oh I came for the holiday of course Chicken bear day. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Yes, my, I know quite well. Oh, my <laughs> grandchildren are very into the holiday, so I came to see some of them and well, raising them right. I yeah, appreciate that. Absolutely, they do love a good, good, all the good fun that goes yes, with the holiday. Yes. In the midst of this small talk, Jaina, you begin to feel strange. You begin to feel unwell. You begin to feel hairy. Oh, right here, right now, huh? Right here, right now. Um, Thank you, BSB <coughs> Care. Um, oh, ladies. BSB oh. Care has activated Bad Moon Rising, oh, which no. is suddenly there's a full moon. It's daylight. It's one of those moons that shows up when the sun's still out. Oh, <laughs> Bam! Moon. Jerk moon. All right. Jerk uh, moon. Ladies, I <coughs> run. You've oh. got 10 seconds. You're in a crowd until you go full wolf. Can we do something to help her? I don't. Test. Nine. No, this is not my specialty, eight, but we should probably get seven. Her shot. Okay, there's six. six. Run! Five. Run! Five. Run the mixed up and smart. Three, three two, two, one. one. Jaina. Oh, I'm going to be chasing whatever's running away from me. Oh, no. You are in a big crowd of freaking people, and these people just abandoned you. Where is your bear? There's nothing they, we can do wolf. to help you. I don't have. A wolf, unfortunately. Somebody, is there a thing that There's looks scary over there? There, there is a wolf. Is there? Yeah. I want to go to there. Uh, a werewolf. There's a regular wolf. A wolf. No, by the actual book canon, they look very hard to distinguish from wolves. So I just want to make that straight because I saw the third yeah. movie and no, thank you. <laughs> it was a weird. Like it's like cracked it out was, Chihuahua. Like it's not okay. Yeah. It's, it's not choice. okay. Oh, oh did you have a wolf? wolf. Ah! Ah, look at that. Yeah. Wolf, yes. middle of this crowd. Uh-oh, it's Oops, chicken bear day. Everyone turns and looks at this wolf and says, what a great prank. 
You guys are running to my yeah to tell. Although you they what's were happening. closest to me when they took off, so I'm gonna take off running after them. Do it. Uh, do you have stats as, for you as a wolf? Because you should be twice as fast. I do not. Oh. We have not discussed that Ooh. yet. Well, I'm pretty sure that unless these guys got a crazy good head start, you are winning. Bye. Now, <laughs> here's a crowd. You guys are sprinting through it to try and get to McStuffins Muffins. We are now in combat, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to Plate Mail Games, Wes Otis, Wes. bring in the noise. Thank you. <laughs> that was not expecting that to happen so soon. <laughs> you guys should get to my shop. Yeah, you are accompanying. I think I can help. I in help. your sprint across the two magical creatures who were recently in a fight. Oh, 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 oh. Against oh, oh, oh. each other, have broken loose. Here's, what was it? Squirrelin. Squirrelin. And Squirrelin? the other one with no, the name. No, right? not either one of those, because those are both terrible and can't hurt They're anyone. Like, <laughs> and you are going to fight anywhere. this to the death. You have two magical creatures. It's a it's bear chicken. It's got that bear head on the top. It's a bear. It's so good. <laughs> it's a bear, and it's falling over. It's a bear. It's like a bear. Like bear, like bear but. Animals that couldn't like, stand up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Two animals they couldn't stand up. It's time to roll some initiative, ladies. Okay. Wait, do I roll initiative? No. Okay. Because you're not in this fight. Okay. So oh, no. uh, all you guys collectively have to beat. Uh, <laughs> wow, four. <laughs> okay. And then you'll beat. If any of you beats a four, you're going before the two mystical bit Ooh, there creatures. You know. <laughs> right? Really? Five. So okay. <laughs> Yeah, Roland's though, so high. <laughs> Wait, are you nine. kidding? Nine. A nine. All right, so it's gonna go Sorry. you two, and for right now you're a monster, so then you, and then our two mystical beasts, which let's make them something not horrible. <laughs> One is the combination of a gorilla and a bull. Oh. A gorilla bull. Oh, he's <laughs> where do I get this from? It's, it's genius. Gorilla bull. I can't even. Oh, so gorilla bull. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the other one is a combination of a gorilla and a deer. Oh. Gorilla deer. Gorilla. 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 Guys, that is. Yeah, because those are. Gorilla. So gorilla and gorilla bull. <laughs> Are coming after you. Same guy who created these, huh? What? They're coming in a dirigible. <laughs> They're coming in a dirigible. <laughs> yeah, of course they are. Gorillable and Dirilla in a dirigible. Eating, eating Lunchables. Mm. Lunchables. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dom, we no, always appreciate great. your contribution. It's on!